Hello there and welcome to another Little Spark vlog. Today we are here at the Wilderness Lodge for storybook dining with Snow White at Artist Point, which is a restaurant here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see many Snow White characters, including Snow White herself, the Evil Queen, Dopey, and Grumpy. I think. Things to point out about this dinner, the space itself is gorgeous. Um, I've seen videos of it in the past and it just is set up so beautifully and there are shared appetizers and shared desserts. Um, also some very delicious sounding entrees. So let's go in. So this is a little brief overview of the Wilderness Lodge. We actually just came through the lobby, which is over there. And this is kind of just a scenic area that overlooks the pool and Bay Lake in the back. Entrance to the Wilderness Lodge is right underneath that big window. So that's where you would come in from the Porco Share. And Artist Point is all the way in the back left corner. There is a lounge called the Territory Lounge that is, I guess, kind of part of um, Artist Point that you can go get a drink at that you do not need a reservation for. They have some nice paintings of Snow White of the check-in desk. So ignore my cracked phone screen, but here is the menu on the app. These are the shared appetizers, wild mushroom bisque, hunter's pie, and a wicked shrimp cocktail. Entrees, beef stroganoff, prime rib, a vegetarian dish, pork shank, chicken, fish, or trick and chicken. And here are the desserts. These stands are like treats. That's neat. What we got here? Okay, so you can scan this QR code to get the menu. And then there's a little card. I think this is the signature card. So here are the special beverages that they have here. <laughs> Hello! How are this evening? Very good. This is wonderful. And now is this your friend? This is my friend. Yes. Did you two meet at a wishing well too? Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> and join in the silly song! Appetizers have arrived. We got the wild mushroom bisque. We have some shrimp cocktail and a hunter's pie, which you said was a turkey meatball. They look delicious. So we just found out that the tree here rotates. So it's fixated in place, but it rotates. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Good job, Becky. You're doing great. You're doing great. How's the soup? Very warm. That's good. <laughs> Drink just came. The colors of Dopey. Who's right behind? Could be visiting soon. And they, our server did offer to bring more appetizers out to the table. So all we had to do was ask. Hello! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm my earrings and 
see if they look anything like the, the gems from the mine. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello, Grumpy. <laughs> I asked you how you are, but I'm sure we already know the answer. Yeah, I figured. So Dolby said my, my earrings looked like they came from the mine, so they're okay. And yeah, they look good? Okay. Right. <laughs> they passed the test. Good. So we were just invited by the evil queen to go meet her. It's exciting. Bring your bring your clutch. If you like, you can use photo pass. Okay, perfect. You wanna show her your clutch? Is it better than my mirror? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Mm. Well, I suppose if it doesn't lie to you, then it's better than mine. Who's lies to you? Yes, you told me Snow White was pretty. An obvious lie. <laughs> Very good. And even an apple. <laughs> mm. yes. Never know when you'll need one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look how tender this is. Literally fall right off the bone. Warm welcome to Snow White! <laughs> So I just came into the gift shop here at the Wilderness Lodge to see if they had any like Artist Point specific merch. I did find this little Snow White section. So they have this little jar, I wonder if it's like a candle holder? It's very heavy, $35. Some Snow White a journal set, keychains, this little trend fit dish set, not sure what that is. They do have the Evil Queen box. So it has a nice engraving of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and opens up and it's like red velvet on the inside. How much does this go for? This goes for $55. Got a Snow White Disney Wilderness Lodge shirt. This jacket that I've seen around before. And then some little Snow White plushes, but oh, it's like an apple. You put her inside the apple and it closes. That's kind of strange. But. Behind the desk, there's this beautiful Snow White apple back there. Okay, so we are back from Storybook Dining at the Wilderness Lodge. And what were your thoughts? Overall, I enjoyed the experience. I think it is something I, I would do again. Mm -hmm. um, there are some comments I'll make just to kind of, I don't know, 
prepare people for some potential decisions you'll have to make. Yeah. We're going to start from the beginning. We're going to start at the appetizers. So my favorite appetizer was that mushroom bisque. I even asked for a second serving of it because that cauldron, it kind of looked like a lot, but it really wasn't that much soup. Yeah. Like, in all honesty, I could probably just, you know, take it one shot. Like a shot. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite, I think, was the shrimp. I wasn't a huge fan of the cocktail-style sauce it was kind of covered in, um, but it also had, it was topped with a seaweed salad, which was like, Something I never thought about pairing, but was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, my least favorite was probably the Huntsman's pie. Um, it was basically just a meatball on a little puff pastry. Yeah, again, something about the sauce that that was in was just not my favorite. It was almost tangy, yeah. which I don't know if maybe that was remnants from my fork from the shrimp, no. or if it truly was a tangy sauce on the meatball. I wasn't a huge fan. Yeah, no, it wasn't the... The shrimp sauce that oh. you got on it. It was it was a little tangy, so I didn't care for it too much either. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't like I wasn't gonna ask for seconds for it. Yeah, and then moving on to the entrees, why don't you go first? So I got the pork shank, and it was delicious. It was a generous portion, so I wasn't hungry after I finished it. The the one comment that. I would say is that if you do not like horseradish, then maybe ask for a different side. So the mashed potatoes underneath the pork shank were horseradish mashed potatoes. So some bites had a little bit more horseradish taste than others. And then I got the herbed chicken, which when they put it in front of me, I was tempted to say, where's the rest of it? Um, especially when you're thinking you're paying $65 a person. Um, the piece of chicken I had itself, I was also surprised was like a crispy fried piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. Um, as opposed to like when you think herb chicken, I think of like a roasted chicken with the skin. And, yeah, and like a half roasted, like right. you got like the breast with the, the, the leg and all, everything. And then, and then with like a parsnip puree, which was kind of like a, a spoonful, they kind of swiped over the plate and then three pieces of cauliflower. They were different colored cauliflowers. It was tricolored cauliflower. <laughs> um, but I don't know, just again for the price and when they put down the entrees, I looked at Marcus's and I looked at mine and I was like, there is a distinct difference between the amount of food you got and the amount of food I got. Mm -hmm. Again, it, I'm glad it wasn't like a ginormous portion because between the entrees and the desserts, like there is a lot to kind of snack on, but yeah, just pretty underwhelmed with the chicken as far as like serving. The taste it itself was, yeah, it was great. Um, moving on to desserts. Um, I think my favorite was probably the gooseberry tart. Um, really? Yeah. That's a little surprising. I didn't think you would have liked that one the best. <laughs> um, it was reminiscent of a cranberry with a subtle apple -y flavor and the crust or shell, whatever you want to call it, um, on the outside still was a little bit warm. Yes. And then the top had a really nice, lightly sweet flavor to kind of complement the tartness of the berries inside. I think my favorite was that apple mousse. I don't even know exactly how or what it was described as, but the little truffle maybe that looked like an apple. That was my favorite. I was thinking that the dopey dessert was going to be my favorite, but they ruined it with the frosting on top. I was just going to say, honestly, to me, it was kind of like glorified jello pudding with buttercream which i'm not a fan of buttercream either see i like the cookies and cream portion of it it just that the frosting yeah. was too sweet and it it ruined it for me i was like for a place as elevated as this was supposed to be i was kind of surprised at how simple that dessert was like mm -hmm. especially when you compare it to like the little gooseberry tart and the poison apple um little atmosphere i think it's beautiful in there um we were kind of tucked away in the back corner yeah so i think we would have enjoyed it more had we been like more in the center of the restaurant but we were definitely kind of also kind of a con of being in the back corner is that during the dinner they do 
um, do formal like character in, um, introductions. Yeah. They play some special music. They announce, okay, Snow White is making her way through the forest. Like, the footage I have is not zoomed in at all, so you can really see how far away we are. Mm -hmm. And they like maybe come kind of where we were for like a split second, and then they head back again. Yeah. They still came to the tables, and I thought we had pretty good interactions it was yeah. it was pretty quick I mean they have a lot of people to get through so don't think you're gonna be spending like minutes with these characters it really is like yeah probably 20 second 20 30 second conversation and then get up and take a picture with them if you want yeah and then they're kind of on to the next one but it is nice to be able to see some characters that you wouldn't normally see in the parks like you can see Snow White at least in Epcot and Magic Kingdom, but you don't get to see Grumpy, Dopey, and the Evil Queen every day. Right. For an actual, like, photo op opportunity. There is a photo pass photographer at the Evil Queen mm -hmm. um, meet and greet, so we'll insert that picture now. Yeah, um, I don't know how much of the character interactions we're going to put in the video, but we're kind of awkward so <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't they, really they, know how they came off on camera that's gonna wrap up our evening at artist point at disney's wilderness lodge and so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you see all of our future uploads and until next time bye, bye.